Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Sam here. It has been a little while. Life has been crazy. Things have been super busy and I just haven't had the chance to sit down and make a video. And so here we are. This is one of the only Saturdays I've had to not do anything in a really long time. Uh, James and I are going out on a little date night tonight. So I figured I'd kind of sit down and just get ready with you, chit chat, do a little fall smoky eye kind of deal and just get caught up. So without any further ado, let's take care of this whole face situation. And if you want to see the look I create using all drugstore and affordable products, then keep on watching. All right, so I've got you guys zoomed in. Today we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes. Please don't mind my eyebrows. I'm trying to let them grow out a little bit. I know they're a little unruly. I'm doing my best to not pick at them or do anything to them um, because it's just gotta let them grow. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the concealer I'll be using today. This is the Retouch and Erase by Milani. And I'm gonna take this little brush. I almost believe this came with a lip kit, but it's a nice thin little brush. So it's good to go ahead and get underneath the brow bone and just kind of clean up. This is a great trick to use if you are newer to filling in your brows, cause I know I definitely did not do this for the longest of time. So it's still not my strongest suit. All right, so using the rest of that concealer, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of rub it around on my fingers and prime the lids for eyeshadow. And today I am going to be using the Smoky Eyes Palette by BH Cosmetics. And I'll open it up so you can see some of the colors in here. BH does make some really nice shadows and I can't decide exactly how I want to go, but this green right here is calling to me. It's a really pretty shimmery. You can kind of get a feel for it there. Reflective green. So I think that's what we're going for today. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush and I'm just going to go ahead and set whatever concealer I just put on my eyes. I don't want any of these shadows to grab or stick. So setting your concealer really gives you kind of a more flawless application of the eyeshadow because it just lets it glide across your eyes so nicely. And all I'm using, this is the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to soften up and set down the primer that we just used. All right, so the first color we're gonna dunk into is this really light pale gray over here. I do want this to be a little bit cooler of a look. And I'm going to use this teal here on the outer corner and then the green on the inner corner. So we're just going to go ahead and start building up some color on the lid so we have a nice transition for those greens to go into. All right, so the next darkest gray in the palette is a little too dark for me. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into this is the BH Modern Mattes palette. And I'm going to take this gray shade down here. It does have a little bit of... Eh, almost a little bit of like a purpley kind of undertone. I'm gonna tap off my excess. You can always add more color, but it's hard once you've put a lot of color on to tone it down. So just start with a little bit and kind of buff it and blend it. And I'm just starting this at the outside corner is where I'm gonna place the brush down and then drag it over. I want the concentration of this color to be towards the outside of the eye. All right, and now you might not be able to see much of a difference on camera, but I'm gonna take the darkest gray in this palette, which is right here. And again, the lights are so bright, it, the differences are very subtle, but it's just a little extra step that will help me to be able to blend this all the way I want it. So this is the darkest shade we're gonna be using. I'm gonna just keep this nice and low on the corner. And again, same deal, just kind of dragging it over the crease, but I'm not gonna take it up anymore. I'm just, wherever it's laid down, I'm gonna stay right there and then drag it over. I don't want these darker colors going up too high. All right, using that same exact brush, now I'm gonna go ahead into this teal color right here in the palette 
and again I'm gonna focus this towards the outer corner of the eye we're gonna tap off that excess start little by little and just gently build up the color so I don't want this to be all gray I do want it to kind of have that gray smoky undertone but I really want those greens to be the stars of the show here and just to deepen up that outer corner a little more, I'm gonna go ahead and take a thinner little pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with this kind of navy blue dark color down here. Just gonna get a little bit and I am only going to do this on the outer corner. I'm not gonna take it around the crease or anything, just kinda nice and low in this outer section right here. All right, so now that I've got the color built up to a place where I'm happy with it, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that lid shade. I'm gonna take this on, first I'm gonna do this on a Sonia Kashuk, it's a little flat brush. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some setting spray. I'm gonna use the uh, Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mist. I'm just gonna go ahead and wet the brush a little bit. Now again, what this is gonna do is it's just gonna bring out more pigment and since this is kind of a metallic or shimmery shadow, it's really gonna make that pop. So again, if you are ever working with shimmers or glitters or things like that, this is the best way to get a lot of pigment out of them. Wow, so that's such a pretty green. And I'm just gonna take this all over the lid and you will notice there is some fallout happening here and that's pretty normal with darker colors and really shimmery colors so again that's why i suggest doing an eye look first because it's easy to go and clean that up when you don't have any foundation on but if you already have foundation all over your face and you've done everything i mean there are absolutely ways of taking care of fallout so that you can brush it off without it ruining your makeup but I'd rather not chance it. <laughs> and now going back in with our handy dandy Real Techniques brush, I'm just gonna do a once over over my crease to make sure everything blends really nicely, that there are no harsh lines between the colors, that everything looks lovely. And then one last time, I'm actually going to mix these two shades together. I'm going to mix this, where are you? <laughs> I'm going to mix this deep green with this kind of navy blue shade and just go back in and deepen up that outer corner one more time. And now to clean up these outer edges and clean up any fallout that I have, I'm going to use, these are by Beauty Concepts. They are detoxifying wipes. It's basically just a makeup wipe. I picked these up at Marshall's and they're coconut scented and they smell so good. <laughs> but since we don't have any foundation, powder, concealer, like nothing on yet, we could just take this and swipe it. And if you like a really clean, sharp edge like I do, all you have to do is go ahead and wipe yourself a clean edge. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the face makeup and then we'll head back in and do the lower lash line and all of those fun things later. So first I'm gonna start with this Flawless and Poreless Primer. This is by the brand Pixi. Snatch this up at Target. I like this stuff a lot. It does get a little tacky on the skin and so I feel like foundation will grab to it really nicely and I think it does help my foundation last a little longer than when I don't use it and I find this works better than like any of the moisturizing primers that I have just because um, and I haven't tried a lot of face primers to be honest but the moisturizing ones that I have tried and that I have used it just like they kind of slip and slide all over my skin and I don't feel like makeup really sticks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of press this in a little bit. And speaking of makeup not sticking, I've had a major issue lately with around my nose and then like right here, right on the sides of my nose with makeup not staying. 
And so what I've been doing is putting a concealer down because it kind of grabs and sticks a little more. And I do tend to get redness in this area. So I'm gonna pop into this little cream contour and color correcting kit. This is from NYX. And I'm just gonna take this green shade this right on my finger and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tap this over my nose and then kind of this upper lip area and all around there I do find this helps my makeup to stick a little longer otherwise it's like halfway through the day and my skin is peeking out through it and there's this redness and I'm not a fan of it and so far this has been like the best thing to help that but even this is still not perfect so if y'all have any tips or tricks things that work for you let me know all right so now we're gonna go ahead and get into foundation i'm using the vitalist healthy elixir by covergirl i'm mixing the shades 710 and 740. i'm just gonna go ahead and take this on a morphe y6 foundation brush I really like this stuff for like the winter months uh, or fall, whatever, when it's not as hot here. I find that when it's really hot, this foundation uh, does not work for me. It breaks up all over my skin because it is like, it is so moisturizing and it has all the vitamins and stuff in it. I'm going to take this down my neck a little bit. I just blend it all. But anyway, it, oh my goodness, I had a disaster this summer. I went home to Michigan to visit and it was like a rainy kind of humid day and I was wearing this foundation and I'm telling you a few hours into it, it was all broken up just all over my face and it looked so bad. I was actually about to meet up with a friend and I went to Target to buy some makeup wipes so I could just wipe it off. Like, I would have rather had no makeup on than had that much of it breaking out on my skin. But I have found that in, like I said, like, drier and cooler times, this stuff works really nicely. All right, and from here we're going to go ahead and conceal. I'm using that same Retouch and Erase Concealer from Milani. The only thing I'm not crazy about with this concealer is how it comes out, like the little applicator portion. I feel like if you squeeze too hard, too much product comes out, but if you don't, then not enough comes out. I know it's like, it's kind of silly, but that's my only gripe I have with it is it's kind of hard to get like an even coating of concealer, I guess. Taking this damp beauty sponge from Real Techniques, I'm even going to go ahead and go the extra mile and I'm going to spritz this with setting spray so that when I pat it into my face, it'll give it a little more staying power. Today I'm going to be using the Make It Dewy from Milani. I'm just going to go ahead and press this into the skin. Again, we're not dragging anything, not pulling, but just kind of tapping it in. I'm going to dip into my Airspun powder. And I'm gonna get it on the flat end of the sponge. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of baking underneath the eye. James and I are going out to a late movie tonight, so by 10.30, this makeup still needs to be snatched. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of baking. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for a minute. And while it's doing that, because we wanna be efficient with our time, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my liner. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and coat my lashes so that when we do put the falsies on, they kind of blend together a little better with my natural lashes. And I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. And of course, as we can see, I've got some mascara up here. Show you a couple of tricks to how to get rid of that without ruining your eye look. So what you want to do if you want to get off like any mascara or anything, um, first thing you need to do is let it dry. Do not go in and try and wipe it off right away because what you're going to do is just smear it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder and tap it over where that mascara is just to help it kind of dry out a little bit. 
and then I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then I will show you what to do with that after. And now one more minute while they're, we're baking a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my falsies. These are Ritzy by Kiss and I like them because they are a little more natural looking, although I am kind of like doing a full glam look. I don't wanna go too crazy with it. So all I'm gonna do is get these in a pair of tweezers. I'm gonna take my Kiss Lash Strip Adhesive and I'm just gonna go ahead and coat this bad boy up real nice. And the trick when applying lashes, the first trick, you need to get an even coating of glue over the band and then you need to wait and let it get tacky. Do not try and stick a lash directly onto your eye with sopping wet glue on it. It'll just become a mess. And then if you do have to take it off and redo it, um, you're gonna leave glue all over your eye and it's just, it's a mess. So rule of thumb, I would say give it like at least 30 seconds to get tacky before applying it to your eye. In the meantime, I am gonna go ahead and dust away all of this baking powder. I'm just gonna grab a big fluffy powder brush from my own laying nickel and go ahead and gently. I do two things. I kind of push into the skin and dust at the same time so that I'm not wiping all of the powder away. I'm really like setting it down into the face while taking away the excess, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and take a spoolie and this is how we're gonna clean off that mascara. Just gently drag the spoolie over it. Of course, the like one time this trick doesn't want to work for me. All right. And although my skin is now a little red there, at least there's no more mascara. And so now we're going to go ahead and apply. Now I, I'm going to get up in my mirror to do this because I always need to, just to make sure I don't do anything wrong. So I'm going to kind of come down and then in. And I set down the center of the lash first and press that onto the eye and then I get this inner corner. Gently press it in and then I get the outer corner and press it in. And then I kind of take the tweezers, get them on the edge of the lash and push towards my eye to really set down that glue. And once that's done, I'm just gonna let this sit. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna leave it alone and let the glue fully dry down. All right, so now I've got both sets of lashes down. They're drying a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and get to this lower lash line. Going in with the same flat Sony Kashuk brush that I used earlier, we're gonna pretty much take it in the same order that I did the color. So I'm first gonna start with this light gray just to deposit some color and I'm gonna go all the way from the outer corner all the way to the inner. All right, and then next I'm gonna go ahead and because I'm not getting my other palette out, I wanna take the darkest gray and the lightest gray and mix them together. And we're gonna focus this towards the outer half. And lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and take this dark green shade and just put that on the very outer corner. Give it a little, little bit of that green color. But on this pencil brush, I'm gonna take that same green color that we used all over the lid and I'm gonna bring it to this inner corner right here. Just to bring a little shine. And we're gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line with that same L'Oreal Million Lashes Excess. And this time, I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna actually use my little protector. This is nice because it gets under the eye. I already have all my concealer and stuff done, so I really don't wanna 
jack that up and get gobs of black mascara on it. And next we're going to go ahead and contour the face a little bit, bring some life and definition back. I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer in Light Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And this is my quick contour brush by Royal Lang Nickel. Just going to go ahead and dust it all around in there, tap a little of the excess off. I'm going to start kind of near the top of my ear and just bring the brush straight this way. And again, if you haven't seen my brush, my uh, favorite affordable brushes video before, this one is in there. I love it because I love this shape. There's like a little divot that sits right over your cheekbone and then you just swipe. So this truly is a quick and easy contour. For blush today, I'm going to go in with the Blutter, the Butter Blush by Physicians Formula. This is in the shade Vintage Rouge. God, their products smell so good. This is on a Real Techniques blush brush, and this stuff is very pigmented, so I just kind of like gently dust and then bring it up. It doesn't take much to give you that little flush of color, and I'm also going to do my nose, the temples a little, and the chin. These are just the areas of your face that the sun is naturally going to hit. So if you're looking for kind of that more natural glow, those are the places to get. And what I'm going to do is I'm first going to go ahead and set my face and then we're going to do highlighter after. So I'm going to take the Make It Dewy by Milani and I'm going to drench my face in this and then I'm going to use this to kind of press it all into the skin. So any powder that's like sitting funny or anything can really kind of sink down in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press that. And again, I do find that the Make It Last line from Milani actually really does help my makeup to last longer. And lately I've been really liking the Make It Dewy one, the one that I just use now because I feel like it adds a little bit more of a natural life and glow to my skin rather than the original Make It Last, which has a little bit more of that matte finish. And I'm going to go into, speaking of Milani, their highlighter in Afterglow. It is so pretty. I've talked about this stuff so many times. And I'm just going to take this on my Highlight and Glow Brush from Royal Lang Nickel. I'm going to hit the tops of the cheekbones a little bit. And when you do this, when your skin is still a little damp, it just really helps the product to kind of grab and stay a little longer. And again, it really does help the product to pop a little more when you wet it. Go down the nose and then I'm going to hit my Cupid's bow as well. All right, so now that we are all set, here is the final look. I really love how it turned out. Again, every product used today was either drugstore or very affordable with these BH palettes. I want to say these are like 12 bucks a piece and you get 28 shadows. They're fairly good pigmentation. They blend out really well. They wear really well. And I am super happy with how this look turned out. So if you guys would like to see more things like this, if you'd like to do more kind of get readies with me and talk throughs of what I'm doing, let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know you guys could be doing anything else right now, but the fact that you came to just hang out and chit chat about makeup and life and watch this video means the world to me. So thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave to catch more content and wherever you are. I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, your night, your evening, and we will see you next time.